All right, so you don't have to go far to enjoy local brews in your community. Here to wet our whistle to experience those hops, Hannah Dole for Ellerton Park and Retreat Center and James McGee from Revolution Brewing out of Chicago. Thanks for coming in, guys. A perfect way to kick off the weekend with some Illinois brews. I know. I love this. I, and, and I'm coming back to you here in a second, Hannah. But James, you have to, I didn't even realize that hops were grown in Illinois. But yeah, they are. It's not uh, most hops that we get come from the Northwest, but there is a couple different varietals that grow real well in Illinois. Really? So what got you into the beer business? Uh, I owned a bar for a long time, and sort of that was how I learned about craft, and I backed into it. Um, and then after that, I got really into it and went into <laughs> distribution. And then the next kind of natural step was. Do, do most people get into this because they drink beer and they're just like, I could do this? I think so. Yeah. That's but but, but not everyone can do it. Right? No, a lot of people discover that. It's, right. Uh, There's an art. This. It's a difficult business, but it's a lot of fun, too. Well, and that's what we're celebrating, we right? We are, but it, I mean, it must be fun for you if you're the largest independently owned brewery in Illinois. That part's pretty cool, yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hannah, what brings James to town? Well, James, uh, Revolution, and 11 other breweries are going to be coming out for Experience the Hops at Allerton, which is uh, February 24th. And uh, it's going to feature an afternoon of tasting, seminars, uh, and then there's also going to be a six-course dinner with meal pair with beer pairings with the meal um, and it's something that we've done for a few years now and um, we're just kind of growing and adding some more breweries and trying to offer educational and then mm -hmm. you know the, the fun part it's of beer fun. as well what is the educational part of this I think Teach me something. I think it starts with tasting though so maybe yeah. we can open one as, as we learn what do you think yeah we'll, uh, <laughs> let's talk about education oh, okay. <laughs> one of these open. Um, we do have two seminars happening um, during the afternoon part of the event, which is when all the brewers are going to be there. They're going to be offering tastings. Um, people can buy beers. There's going to be drink tickets. Uh, but we're going to have two seminars throughout the afternoon. One is going to be about um, quality control mm -hmm. in breweries, and one of them is going to be about um, contract brewing. So really, for people who are more interested in the Thank business you. of brewing and learning about how that stuff works, um, that's that's what we like to offer is because there are some people that you know really yeah. want to know more about that and there's right. not often ways to learn about that stuff. James, for so oh. many years it was basically you know like the big three breweries that that were dominating the market. But if, but I feel like I see consistently at our local adult beverage places that you're seeing local offerings, Illinois made offerings. Absolutely. W yeah. What's behind that? Uh, just tremendous growth in the industry. Um, there's over 6,000 breweries in the country now. Um, when we opened in Chicago, I can't remember exactly what the number was, but it was a single-digit number, and now it's over 200. Yeah. Um, it's sort of, I kind of liken it to the dot-com boom, where it just exploded yeah. in a very short period, and a lot yeah. of people just kind of got in on it. And well, here's, here's the keeping it yes. off, not what happened to well, the dot-com boom. Well, yeah, what this yeah, is, So this is Fist different. City. Uh, it's named after a Loretta Lynn song. Uh, this beer, along with a couple <laughs> other ones that we do, are Illinois-only brews. So Fist City, our Pilsner, and then Cross of Gold are our beers that we only sell in Illinois. Okay. What song was that? It's a Loretta Lynn song. I don't actually know the song. Oh, I was going to ask you to sing it for us. I, w I should have learned it before <laughs> I did. It, yeah, really, really. Oh, this is good. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's a real approachable pale ale. Um, juicy hops, uh, just kind of a nice, easy, crushable beer. It's uh, Crushable? Crushable. What does that mean? You can crush a whole bunch of them. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I don't get that. Maybe covered in the seminar. I'll be the yeah. one at the seminars learning the education behind. You got all kinds of euphemisms we'll teach yeah. you. Don't worry about okay. it. That's true. I'm thinking true. like maybe the can would crush. I don't. That's also true. Oh, yeah. That. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's our number two skew. Um, it's. Uh, like I said, a real juicy, bright pale ale. Um, really easy to drink. It's what's up usually in my garage fridge. Oh, um, okay. Well, we, we're about out of time. So let's do one more and save the other two for later. Okay. So what other one do you want to show We can only do us? one. We're going to do the most exciting one. So Ooh, this okay. is Straight Jacket. We, we have a pretty massive uh, barrel aging program. And this was uh, the last one to roll out that went into distribution. So this is a barrel aged barley wine. Barley wine? Barley wine, yeah. So it's it, not beer. It is beer. Um, oh, my. I know, it's very okay. complicated. <laughs> I, as soon as I said that, I'm like, oh, no. I'm not <laughs> yeah, I'm going to confuse her. Uh, barley wine is one word. Is, is mm -hmm. it's yeah. a description for a beer? Yeah, it is. So it's a style of beer. It's extremely malty. Um, some of them are barrel-aged, barrel and some of them are not. Ours are. How do you decide what to grow? I mean, that, that's another question because you have food too. I mean, just looking at the color alone, and mm -hmm. color tells you kind of what went into the, into the process of making it, right? Sure. So how do you decide what kind to make? What, what kind of like what what style? Yeah, to what, make? What, yeah, which beers like like is it we have market a, driven or are you, you just both? Yeah, we have a whole team of people that kind of do that thing. Um, 
in-house are brewers especially. Uh, that's not what I do. I go out and sell it to the masses. Right. Um, but yeah, it's sort of driven by what the market wants and what we want to make. And there's a whole bunch of other business as aspects like the cost of certain varietals of hop futures that we have to buy for what we're going to brew um, because we're on a, a pretty big scale. See, there is a whole there business, Joe, which you there can learn is. some and about. And we'll mm -hmm. learn a little bit more coming up. You're going to stick around. In the meantime, you can connect with everything happening at Allerton at Skylivingtv. Well, still to come.